The following is an audio guide to the Institute of Comparative Behaviorism Parapsychology Study Emotional and Semantic Memory Test. This guide will help a subject and one of our associates conduct a three-phase emotional and semantic memory test. Phase 1, Emotional Transference. Phase 2, Symbol Transference. And Phase 3, Memory Transference. You will be asked to stop and conduct each of the tests with the command pause. When completed, continue the recording towards the next test phase. Comparative behaviorism is a specialized approach to psychology which holds that observation of behavior is the most reliable way to determine someone's internal mental processes. The premise is that humans are very much alike when it comes to expressing emotions, fears, and memories. The University of Arizona's Institute of Comparative Behaviorism has been at the forefront in comparative behaviorism research. In the early 1980s, the Institute began a comprehensive program to determine if comparative behaviorism could be used in the study of paranormal or psychic abilities. In 1984, after four years of research and study, the Institute, along with the Cognitive Psychology Department at ASU, published an alternative test, one based on emotions and memories. The book you hold in your hands is the result of those studies. It has 500 entries based on emotions, 400 entries based on common memories, and 500 ESP symbols randomly placed next to each entry. The first test is to try and achieve an emotional transfer. You will randomly select an entry in the book. The entry will be a statement that will convey an emotion, a feeling, something good or something bad. Next to the randomly selected entry, you will see one of the five ESP symbols. This will test our ability to convey an image. The third test is contained on the left side pages. This is a memory transfer test, the ability to transfer a memory from one person to another with no words spoken. Phase 1 – Emotional Transference Since there are 500 entries, please write down three numbers from 1 to 5. Now rearrange those numbers in your mind into a different random order. Open the book up to the entry that is the same as the one you are thinking of. Our associate will look away while you do this. Please read the entry to yourself. Imagine that you are thinking this thought, that you are saying those words. How does this statement make you feel? Positive? Negative? What is the emotional impact of those words as you say them to yourself? Pause. Now let's define this emotion a little better. Look at the page again. There are many words listed down below the entries. Each is a description of a feeling. Please see if there's one word in particular that could convey what you're feeling right now. Use that word as a focus. Now imagine the situation you selected again. Really feel it. Pause. Phase 2. Symbol Transference if you look up your chosen entry one more time, you'll notice that there's a small symbol next to it. Don't tell our associate which one you see. It is clear that the symbol is one of five classic shapes developed by Dr. Rhine in the 1930s for clairvoyance testing. It's either a circle, a square, wavy lines, a cross, or a five-pointed star. A classic test of paranormal abilities was to select a card with one of these five symbols on it and then attempt to send the image of the symbol to the associate who couldn't know which card you drew. Let's try this now. Focus on the symbol next to the line you chose. Pause. Phase 3 – Memory Transference You will attempt to transfer a memory to our associate without any words spoken using an experimental technique known as memory pattern reinforcement. Each of us has many common memories that we all share. We call these memory patterns. These patterns should enable you, with a little help from our associate, to wordlessly transfer a memory from your mind to theirs. In the back of the book are five pages that contain all 100 memories listed in the test book. In a few moments, you will be asked to choose any memory from the left-hand page. You will have a choice of any of the memories you see there. Once the test begins, there will be no words spoken between you. If the test is successful, you will be informed that a memory transfer has taken place. 
when you have decided on the memory of your choice, look directly into our associate's eyes for a few moments and visualize that place in time. This is called memory reinforcement. It is a very important part of the test. After you have reinforced the memory, please turn to the first of five pages of memories in the back of the book. On the first page, you will see 20 of the 100 memories in the book. If you see your memory on that page, you will continue the reinforcement process by once again looking directly into our associate's eyes and visualizing that memory again for a few moments. If you do not see your memory on that page, do not say anything. Don't shake your head no. Just turn to the next page of memories and repeat the reinforcement process. If your memory is among the 20 on the following page, please look into our associate's eyes for a moment or two and try and visualize that moment in time. If not, please continue with the test on the following page. Let's begin. Pause. This has been an audio guide to the Institute of Comparative Behaviorism, Parapsychology Study, Emotional and Semantic Memory Test.